Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. So in this one I just wanted to show you my Thanksgiving cactus that's in full bloom right now. They are absolutely gorgeous. The, uh, the flowers last, you know, a fair amount of time. Say maybe um, a week, maybe a little longer. It's quite showy for a house plant, you know. <laughs> Can't really go wrong with that. Now there's um, this particular cactus is called an epiphyte, which means that they grow on trees and things, uh, mostly in the tropics. I believe these are all from the tropics. So that means that they're actually a little bit more accustomed to some more water than your average cactus. You know, just because this is called a Thanksgiving cactus, you know, the cactus might mean, oh, no, they don't need any water, but they actually do need a fair bit. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, I do hold off a little bit on the watering when uh, they go to flowering, just because if I water them too much when they're flowering, they actually seem to be dropping their flowers. So I try to avoid that. Also, with that said, there's several different types of cactus like this. So this is the Thanksgiving cactus. Then there's also a Christmas cactus and an Easter cactus. And it just all kind of pertains to when they're flowering. So, you know, like Thanksgiving cactus here, you got Thanksgiving around Thanksgiving and then Christmas cactus, you know, around Christmas and same thing for Easter. You can tell that this is a Thanksgiving cactus by the leaves. You know, you got the, uh, the leaves there, the spikes on them, whereas an Easter cactus and a Christmas cactus as well have more rounded leaves. They're more, much more dull at the tip here. So that's uh, one of the easiest ways you can differentiate them. Now, with that said, I actually don't know what variety this is. Uh, the person I got this from, I just got it as a little, a little cutting. It's like this, like maybe like three leaflets like that. And uh, the person didn't know what it was. So I don't know what it is, what it is either. So if you're, if you're looking and you do recognize this variety of Thanksgiving cactus, feel free to let me know in the uh, comments section below. I would love to know. Now, with that said, I also have another one. It's back here. It's not a flower yet, but through the magic of YouTube, I can make that happen. So just like, whoop. all right, just like that. The Thanksgiving cactus is in flower. So look at these flowers, super dark red. Well, this one looks more pinkish with the light shining behind it. But in real life, they're more a dark red color. Look how beautiful that is. Really amazing flowers for a houseplant, I would say. You know, these Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas cacti, they have just gorgeous flowers. I, you really can't go wrong. To get this type of display in a houseplant, that only does it for like a week or two. Especially if you stagger them out like these ones, you know, these ones um, flower later than the first one. So if you stagger it out, you get a couple different varieties, then you can have these flowering for a while, but they really only last a week, week and a half or so, maybe a little bit longer, two weeks on the higher end on these flowers. But even still, it's, it's an amazing display when they do flower. So, and they're really easy to grow, so can't really go wrong. Again, this is also a Thanksgiving cactus. Uh, you can see the little pointy ends on them. They're not rounded like the Easter and Christmas cactus are. But I also don't know what specifically variety this is. So again, I would love to know if you could let me know in the comments, uh, comment section if you know what this variety is. I would love to know. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.